It is Derek here with a review of another solar gadget. This time it is the Revive Series Solar Restore RA4. It is a folding portable solar charger. Folds up to about the size of maybe a small book. Pretty well put together, I think. Uh, Velcro closure comes. You open it up. It's thirty some inches long. Four panels all fit together pretty nicely. Folding it up is a breeze. Just one, two three, four. Inside the top are two USB ports. According to the literature, the specs on there, one is 2.1 amp and one is 1 amp. They are not marked, so I asked. I was told that the first device, or the larger device that you hook up, will pull the 2.1 amps, and a second device, or smaller device, will pull a 1 amp. Uh, there is a small for you, you know smartphone or something. You could plug it in here, tuck your device in, close the flap, and there's this big hanging loop, hull loop on the top. But what I found is that you want to keep your stuff out of the sun. So if you hang it from the second loop, let's see if I can do this. The second loop here, then the pocket is in the shade wherever you hang it. So it does have a hang loop on the top, has a couple of them, one, two, three on each side, as well as the one I just hung it from here. So you have a variety of choices if you want to hang it up. It comes with a strap which could be strung through, say, this one and this one, strung over a branch or strung over your pack. Uh, these could be also be, say, bungeed to your pack. You could lay it across, it's kind of large, and they are, you know, it is flexible, so there isn't anything to hold these stiffs. You can't really lay it across something that's not flat and get an optimal charge. I would say if you're hiking away from the sun, hang it up right here, hanging down the back of your pack, you could have power on the go, or if you're in camp, or wherever you are, hang it up, you could actually probably prop it up like so. I think that is one of the failings of a lot of these portable solar chargers is that, you know, they're great if you have trees or stumps or things to hang them from. But if you don't have them handy, there is no really good way to prop this up at an optimal angle. I mean, you can do it, but it's always sort of an afterthought. It's not designed into it. I think that's a small drawback, you know, for a device like this. The other thing, according to the specs, this weighs 9.6 ounces, but on the box it actually says 1.6 pounds. That's a considerable difference. And I don't have a scale, so I'm sorry I couldn't verify. This does feel more like 9.5 ounces or so, as opposed to a pound and a half. Uh, it does actually come with a weather cover. They call it a weather cover, not a rain cover. I don't have that, but outside with me but it does slip over uh, fits in there pretty snug with a nice drawstring enclosure if you want to keep your stuff tidy out of the rain or out of the dirt um, you know pack it away while you're not using it I think it's a great uh, second thought one other drawback I feel that most portable solar chargers have is and you know this one at least does come with a strap but virtually no other ones come with little s hooks I think those would be a great addition, you know, maybe a rubber coated so they didn't jangle in the, you know, if you're on the woods or whatever, you know, but a series of way, you know, maybe, you know, lock, little locking carabiners or something that could, you know, maybe even two, one for each side and you could loop it or strap it to just about anything or maybe just miniature bungees or something. I tend to have something like that usually with me or some sort of rope that you can rig up a hanging device because otherwise you know if you're just stuck with this you kinda need a broken branch or a nail uh, it's not always the optimal situation you know if you did have 
couple carabiners or a, some webbing to go from this loop say around the tree and then over here you could secure it to a tree trunk that would be a one option to have other than that I feel like it's a pretty solid unit pretty well built well designed unit the other drawback is it doesn't have a power pack but for 50 bucks, a 14 watt solar panel, even without the power pack, I think it's a great deal. And you end up paying quite a bit more, but you could pair this with, you know, your choice of an external battery pack. Charge this during the day, use the battery pack to charge your gadgets overnight.